Hi, this is Lucia with The Art of Love. Today, I want to talk about the 60-day no contact rule. Yes, that's right. You heard correctly. The 60-day no contact rule. Not to be confused with the 30-day no contact rule, which you may have unfortunately heard of. Because the 30-day no contact rule, as I've talked about in my video, the 30-day no contact rule is BS doesn't work. And recently I heard that there's a 21 day no contact rule. Come on, that's ridiculous. So basically the 60 day no contact rule means that if you do not contact your ex for 60 days, there's an excellent chance that you will hear from them between day 45 and day 60, usually closer to day 60. And the 60 days comes from the book Psycho-Cybernetics, where the author Maxwell Maltz talks about the fact that when someone needs to make an important decision, it will usually take them eight weeks, 60 days, and they're liable to make it from days 45 to 60. So it's not 30 days, it's not 21 days. And I have some testimonials here of people who have listened to me, <laughs> paid attention and did it, and they are happier today. So the first one says, you saved my butt and helped me through it all to have the strength to preserve my dignity. He contacted me basically right at 60 days after I had already ignored him twice. Good. So she's listening when I said, just because your ex contacts you, it doesn't mean you need to respond right away, especially if they don't say anything substantial. If they just say, hey, or hello, or what's up, you don't need to respond because they might be just checking to see what's going on with you. They haven't heard from you. They're curious, does not mean they wanna get back with you. And so if they really are interested in getting back with you and you don't respond, they will reach out, but you have to hold steady and not respond. So she didn't respond twice and voila, at 60 days, there he is again. Continuing on, she says, you were so freaking right <laughs> and your snippets about having faith were so helpful. Who knows what the future holds, but at the very least, I'm so happy I didn't reach out. I must have listened to your 30 day no contact rule is BS video literally 25 times to get through it. Great. I'm glad she did not break no contact. And the next testimonial says, there I was after the worst breakup of my life. Couldn't get out of bed, crying myself to sleep, crying every time I was alone. I found Lucia's channel and started watching slash learning. This is not made up and I'm not and I'm the last person that would ever seek advice outside of my own head. Because sometimes I guess people think testimonials are made up. No. When I first started watching, I had serious doubts and I didn't believe what she was saying and that it would work. But I received a call from my ex on day 59. <laughs> Notice it wasn't day 29. It wasn't day 20. It was day 59 and I chose not to answer. Another one, everybody's listening. Well, not everybody, but these two listened anyway. Then I received another call. See, if your ex contacts you and you don't respond and they're interested, they will reach out again. I received another call the next day, day 60, and didn't answer. Lucia was spot on with the 45 to 60 days. She somehow figured out the path you need to take, so listen to her and have faith. Well, Maxwell Maltz figured it out. I'm just relating the information. And notice how this guy also talks about faith. Faith equals believing in something that hasn't happened yet or something you can't yet see. That's so true. I mean, you can listen to all the videos you want, but if you don't then implement the no contact, it's not gonna work. How can you ever know if the 60 day no contact rule will work if you refuse to wait? and you keep breaking no contact. And 
there's nothing that I or anybody can do or say to convince you to just do it. You have to go on faith. That's the only way to see if it's actually going to work for you. Continuing on, my relationship was only five months and my ex called just like Lucia said she would. I found myself during this period and realized I'm worth much more than I ever imagined and I don't want my ex back in my life anymore, even though I had the choice to have her back. So there you go. He used that 60 day period to work on himself and realized, you know what? I don't even want my ex back. But you can't arrive at that point or you might want your ex back unless you do the no contact. So if you would like more help with this, you can contact me at my website, theartoflove.net to find out about private coaching. If you're listening to this on iTunes, I would appreciate if you would rate and review the podcast. If you're listening on YouTube, thank you for subscribing. And finally, remember that love inspires, empowers, uplifts, and enlightens.